I would say the way that Sakai has changed my teaching is it's allowed me to develop more student-generated content and move more from the role of, of uh, being a lecturer to more a facilitator and students doing some of the lecturing. And actually, my role is uh, kind of a, a gatekeeper to make sure that, at least in terms of the contributions that people are bringing to the class, that I'm more monitoring for quality and making sure that the things that they're working on, the things that they're introducing themselves, are something that's a benefit to the whole community. Um, for the courses I'm teaching, especially the research methods course, I try to focus on student-generated content. So we'll have exercises in class where uh, sometimes they'll want to fact check a statement. And so one of the forms of participation, since they all have computers, is you'll, you'll just talk about something going on in the news. And then someone will find information on it very quickly. They'll share something in class that prompts somebody else to find something else. And then the next thing you know is that we have something here where we can in integrate it all within Sakai within a matter of seconds. They can all stay where they are and upload the content straight to their computers. We don't have to have something on the overhead. Um, they can put it on their computers, give short mini presentations from their seat. Everyone else can immediately see it where they're sitting. And so it just increases the volume and quality of content that we can have within minutes.